we don't actually know if this is gonna work. This could be a complete waste of time. Okay. Your time, my time, everyone's time. But we're doing it. We don't know yet. No fast forwarding the video. I feel like I need to put some glasses on to protect myself. You never know what's gonna happen. Hey, beautiful people. Today we want to try the easiest way to cinch your waist in two hours. Let's be honest. It was December a couple of weeks ago, okay? We ate a lot of food. I was at home visiting my in-laws. I had a lot of yummy Portuguese food and I'm not gonna lie, I had Taco Bell. Don't judge me. I know the meat is gray, but I had it. You know, I didn't feel good about it either and now I'm carrying some of that weight. I'm a little bit of a thick girl. Sometimes, every once in a while, I don't mind a little bit of a boost in my snatching area over here in the waist. We're gonna try a little crazy stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna have fun. This video, that's what it's for. We're gonna try some things that may work, may not work. Do I recommend this at home? I will tell you at the end of the video. We're gonna leave it for there. And how are we gonna tell you the impact? We're gonna measure my waist in the beginning and then we're gonna measure my waist at the end. So this way you guys can see whether or not it actually works. First of all, we got caffeine, some coffee. I actually don't drink coffee on most days. I know most people think I'm heavily caffeinated, but I'm not. Is this real coffee? This is Nescafe. We got coffee, y'all. <laughs> so we got coffee because it has caffeine and it helps boost circulation, helps boost your blood flow. It really helps kind of do a lot of things to help get rid of cellulite, fat, and we're gonna see if it works. Oh my God, we got real coffee and it's Starbucks. <laughs> so we know it's real. <laughs> also gonna grab a little bit of seaweed because seaweed, kelp are super rich in vitamin C, vitamin K, zinc. It's in a lot of skincare products, but it is really amazing. I just tiny you up. If you are feeling a little bougie, bougie, um, Bougetto, whatever the word is. And you wanna get a little fancy, you can use organic coconut oil as kind of like a soluble to mix everything. Otherwise, if you're kind of more of on a budget, you can use Vaseline. Vaseline is also something that is really great to kind of be that liquid that kind of puts everything together so you could put it on your body. In order to kind of get a little bit more stimulation, we wanna make sure that the whole mixture as you put it on your body kind of has a little bit of a heating kind of effect. So this way you're sweating everything, you're removing all those toxins, you're getting a little bit more drainage. In order to do that, use some tea tree oil. Tea tree is a really great antifungal, but it also creates a little bit of a stimulation to your skin when you use it. When you're using the tea tree oil, don't go in there putting all kinds of drops. You wanna make sure that you're really using it with caution. I would go one drop at a time. If you feel like it's a little bit more comfortable, then you could put more, but really use this with caution because also may heat up over time. So what you feel initially, you may feel more so later on as you wear it through the day. Now, if you are really, really on a budget and you just, you don't even wanna buy anything, you just wanna go into your medicine cabinet, you can use Vapor Rub. Vapor Rub, I've actually seen a lot of times be used just with Saran Wrap by itself as something that people use to shed some weight or some inches. So we're gonna see if it works. I'm gonna use the Vapor Rub. This is probably the first time I've ever used it on my belly. So we're gonna try putting it on there and seeing what happens. So I'm gonna start first with the coffee. So we're gonna put about a cup of the coffee grounds in here. And we have a nice amount in our bowl here that we're gonna use for mixing. And next we're gonna go ahead and we're going to use our seaweed and sea kelp because we know how great that's gonna be for tightening. <laughs> this is what nails are for for opening packages. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a couple spoonfuls of the seaweed and kelp. Blech. Will this stain me green? No, right? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> I look at everyone, they're like. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix these together because these are our dry ingredients. Sometimes I like to mix the dry ingredients first. This way you kind of have like a more smooth consistency. We got a very earthy tone right now. When it looks a little bit like soil, like you could plant a plant in there, that's when you're heading into the right direction. So now I'm gonna mix a couple of things as like the emulsifier to kind of make everything really nice and viscous. We want like a little bit kind of paste so it will stick onto my stomach. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the coconut oil in first. This is a little bit more solid right now, but as I start to mix it, it will start to emulsify. I have a lot of coconut oil in there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start pushing it into the mixture. So this way I can kind of have everything mixed together. Ooh, this is hard to mix. Ooh, I feel like I need to put some glasses on to protect myself. You never know what's gonna happen. All right, because I'm crazy, we're gonna use the vapor rub and I'm gonna use all of it because why not? Right? There we go. Was that satisfying or was it gross? I don't know, I can't decide. And then we're gonna mix that in there. I don't know, I like the smell of Vapor Rub. Ooh! See, you really wanna make sure it's very thick because when I put that in there, it actually mixed really nicely, but it definitely made it more liquidy. But this is a nice type of viscosity to it. These are big words. That's why I have my smart glasses on. This is a nerdy video. We gotta put this on. All right, first things first. We're gonna measure my waist and then we're gonna wrap me up with all this stuff. We're gonna put it on. And then I have some meetings with product development team and I'm gonna sit with this for the next two hours. We're gonna put a sweatsuit on as well. So we get extra heating, extra, we are, we are on the fast track, okay, to cinch the waist. 
We are gonna see what's gonna happen. Okay guys, so I put this sweatsuit on. This is a sweatsuit I just got on Amazon. It's called a sauna suit. I actually have a ton of them and I love them and I wear them all the time because they kind of make you sweat a lot. We're going for this. We're gonna wrap my belly with all that stuff. We're gonna put it all on. We're gonna put some cellophane, which is what they call it in Europe, but in America we just call it saran wrap. And then I'm gonna sit in my meetings for the next two hours and we're gonna see if this actually makes a difference. So bring it on. If you guys are doing this, make sure you do it in a bathtub. Cause look at all this. Gonna wrap my hair up. Oh, it's warming up. Hi, hello. Oh, that's enough, yeah. For good measure, I'm gonna put a waist trainer on because Neda is crazy. We are wrapped, we are snatched. I have my suit on, I got my waist trainer on, I got the wrap underneath here with that whole concoction. I'm gonna go to my meetings right now and we're gonna see how different my waist is in two hours, if there is any difference at all. Okay, all right. All right guys, see you guys in a I think it's been like an hour, 45 minutes. It feels like it's been forever. This is so uncomfortable. I literally have driblets of sweat coming down my back, down my ass, down my legs, it's been so uncomfortable. And not to mention I had to sit down. This was so, it was disgusting. And then it was so itchy. I kept wanting to like itch myself in so many places. Like this under boob area here is so uncomfortable. So we are now gonna go ahead and remove this mess. And first of all, we gotta start with this, <laughs> the waist trainer. And I don't know what has happened down here. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go down one. One Go inch. One inch. What? What? Go one inch. Shut up. Literally 31. 30. Wait. Literally what? One inch. Yeah. Sign me up. It's I went down an inch in an hour. Should have left it on all day. JK, JK, don't do that. Are you kidding? Bag it up. I am taking that home. Bag it up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel really soft. Oh my god, feel my skin. Oh my god. Wait, I need to I lost an inch in an hour. <gasps> That's so, so soft. I was secretly hoping this yeah, wouldn't work because it was so crazy. I'll probably burn you. Guys, okay, this actually worked. I lost an inch. <laughs> the craziest, quickest way to lose an inch off your waist. I was secretly hoping because this was so crazy, because it was so many ingredients, that it would be a flop. But it worked. It really worked. And my skin is so soft and I smell a little menthol-y, which if you are into menthol, that's like an amazing thing. I don't know. I don't know if I would recommend this to try this at home because it was so weird, so many crazy ingredients. I would probably, although I think the vapor rub is exactly what was kind of creating that heating stimulation, I think it's kind of what made me sweat more. I would maybe opt for a more natural version if I was gonna recommend this. I would use the coconut oil and the tea tree oil. But I will say I was amazed at what happened. So you guys don't sue me. I will tell you, please consult your doctor before you try anything like this at home. But yeah, this is, this was kind of insane. It's an actual hack that worked in an hour. I lost an inch in an hour. I'm wondering if I would have waited like four hours, but I've lost four inches. Hmm. So much to think about. Oh my God. That's so weird. I can't believe this worked. I love you guys so much. Let me know down below any other weird hacks that you guys want me to try. Cause you know, I'm that bitch. <laughs> we'll do it. All right. I love you guys so much. I'm sweaty now. I need to go shower. <laughs>